Hello Baked Beans, it's Lottie here and in this video me and Hannah are going to show you uh, how to use Zoom and we're going to give you some tips and advice for using Zoom as well. We're really enjoying seeing all of you in our online classes and hopefully with this video we'll make it easier. So the first thing that will happen is you will get an email uh, from your tutor saying that you have a Zoom class and when you've opened that email there will be a link. What you need to do, see it's right here, is click on that link and that will open Zoom. Now you might need to download it, open it or run it so I'm going to press open Zoom here. I've already downloaded Zoom but if you haven't you'll need to download and open it. So we press open Zoom and it might take a few moments like this just while it opens up you've got to bear with it and we're just waiting for Hannah to start the video and Hannah's accepted me into the class which is brilliant and as soon as you get in you need to press join with computer audio which will come in a blue box like this after you've pressed this Hannah will be able to hear you and we are good to go. Hi Hannah. Hello Lottie. I can't see your camera Lottie. Hold on. Ah. So baked beans what's happened here is I haven't started my video. So in the bottom left hand corner of the screen just down here you can see it says start video and that picture of a camera you need to click on that. And there we are. Hello. Hi Lottie. So on Zoom we have five top tips to give you. My number one tip will be to make sure your microphone is on and your camera is on as Lottie has just pointed out to you. My first tip is to make sure that you have your space set up nicely so before you even turn on your camera you need to make sure that you don't have your pants hanging out and enough room to move in particularly if you're in a dance class like mine you need to be able to stand up and do all the whilst on camera. My next top tip will be about background noise. So I don't want you to have things on in the background like your Alexa. So if I'm trying to talk over this, Lottie can you hear me? Sorry Hannah? Lottie can you hear me? Hannah? Alexa, stop. So we should make sure our background noise is all off, no TVs on, no Alexas playing, no music playing, just nice and quiet so we can hear each other. And make sure that your uh, family and friends are not in the background chatting away either because we can hear everything they're saying. Tip number four, uh, make sure you are only speaking one at a time. Our Zoom classes can get very busy, uh, sometimes with 10 students or more, and it's really hard to hear you, just like in normal classes, if you're speaking over the top of each other. So uh, if your tutor is asking you a question, make sure they ask you individually and don't speak over anybody else. And the last tip is just to relax, enjoy and have fun. The whole reason of us doing these Zoom sessions is so we can have fun and reconnect with each other. So don't let the video put you off. Just pretend it's like normal and have some fun and I'm sure they will be great. See you all on Zoom! Bye! Bye.